Yeah, so that's our names. Uh, my first name is Patrick. Go by Pat. I'm a third uh, third landing support battalion. I'm a 1392. Um, so I'm a bulk fuel specialist. I have an additional MOS for uh, advertisation and quality assurance. Um, I'm a fuels operations chief. Sure. Yeah. So uh, me and my uh, small team, we actually conducted a traditional gear set out of the amphibious assault fuel system. It's called the uh, beach unloading assembly. It's one of the parts to actually bring fuel ashore to go fight the mission. It's a joint operation uh, with the uh, United States uh, Navy, and because it's Balcatan, we deal with the Army too. Okay, so this would be applicable to a real life scenario in a way that uh, if we need to fuel ashore, large amounts of it to actually move trucks, Humvees, um, HE assets, aircraft, we would actually receive it from the ship, bring it into the shore, and then the Marines actually push the fight further. So we'd build tank farms and just continue going forward. We do. We have uh, my my company directly right now, Energy Company, out of uh, Third Landing Support Battalion. We're supporting um, water purification, light water purification system over there at Net DC. Uh, I have two FARPs running right now. One at NCIA, uh, which is Cagayan uh, Cagayan Airport, and then uh, one over at Clark Air Base right now. So we're we're sped pretty thin. Yeah, uh, so uh, we got cut on our main body movement. Uh, we still made the mission work though. Uh, traditionally, this system would take about 10, uh, 10 Marines to operate it. We operated with four, five to include myself. So each one had their own individual role, pump operator, basket strainer, uh, the meter man, and then uh, our, we had one line walker. And then I was aboard the, uh, the vessel out there actually pushing the fuel back and forth. Uh, the medium we actually utilized was water, which has a uh, similar relative density of fuel. Um, so the only thing that entered anything, uh, we had, we tested everything yesterday, no leaks in the lines, no, uh, we pressed our seals and gaskets, not a thing. So we haven't dropped a, a single ounce of even water on the ground yet. My, uh, the equipment set that we utilize is an amphibious assault fuel system. Um, it's one of the tactical fuel distribution systems that the uh, Marine Corps has and utilizes. It has a uh, total capacity of 1.12 million gallons. Uh, this assembly alone pushes fuel down a uh, seven, uh, seven mile line into different various tank farms for different types of petroleum products. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we can store whatever it is, 1.12 million gallons of some type of liquid. Uh, with a full team, it would have probably been a lot shorter to uh, do the full setup. Obviously we were running, uh, running pretty men, so uh, shout out to the CBs, they hooked it up. Um, they get augmented us like eight or 10 guys. Um, so we were able to accomplish uh, FOC in about four hours. Um, so from the gear like getting on the ground, four hours.